Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the week of November 11th through the 17th. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. Take what does, and or take what resonates, and leave the rest. What do we have for Cancer? November 11th through the 17th. Ooh, well, Cancer, I don't know. You Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's not very nice. You could be dealing with somebody who's not very nice. Okay. This person uh, is very calculating. She's very assertive. Uh, this person is definitely hard to deal with. So you're dealing with somebody who... Um, this person may be revengeful or vindictive or something like that. What do we got going on for cancer? Now, this could be you. These readings can go vice versa. We have somebody here that isn't uh, being very nice, put it that way. Ooh, 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 very dissatisfied. Somebody is not happy. Oh, well, definitely not happy. Cold. You could be dealing with a cold-hearted individual. You know, this could be your cold-hearted bitch, honestly. Somebody's not happy at all. It's very emotional, too. Very emotional. There could be some tears that are shed. Definitely a difficult period right here. Lack of foresight here. Perhaps you didn't see something. There could be some dashed expectation. Something could happen that you were not prepared for. Okay? Somebody was not prepared for something to happen and it's happened or it's going to happen. It's like you didn't see it coming, perhaps. Somebody may have wasted some time. Somebody could be moving on, going, you know, there's a, somebody has been in a troubled situation and it's time to uh, get out of it. Somebody could be moving, literally moving. This is the Knight of Pentacles. You're going to be tested this week, okay? You are definitely going to be tested, Cancer. Um... The Knight of Pentacles is taking a solid and practical approach. Somebody is taking a solid and practical approach and they're moving. They're moving away from a situation. It's like that's what they have to do. I think that there's been some sort of plan to do so, something like that. Could it have something to do with children? We have the Six of Cups here. It doesn't have to be children, but uh, somebody's been clinging to some sort of memories or clinging to something from the past. This has to do with, with your childhood or your own children. Somebody could be moving with the children or the children could be moving or you could be moving. Somebody has been clinging to the past or clinging to the memories or something like that. Or holding on just for the children. You're holding on. You could be dealing with a Cancer. I mean a Cancer. Well, you are a Cancer, aren't you? Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This person is holding on to something. Trying to hold on. Thinking about stability. Definitely dealing with an, an Earth sign by the looks of things. Now, this is all that is practical and real and stable and solid. This guy is definitely wanting to hold on and thinking about what he has. Somebody could be headed in your direction, Cancer. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
there's there there's they're not moving somebody isn't moving very fast though five of swords reverse now this is uh letting go of ego letting go of emptiness just wanting to be happy i wonder it looks as though there's the, the an end of a marriage I'm, i have to be honest with you or a commitment or something where somebody just isn't happy i mean there could there could be a severing of ties here and so whoever is severing these ties is doing it because they think that it is the right thing to do they think that is this is the most practical approach somebody is going to be taking a, a ride okay but this king of pentacles has been holding on to something perhaps for the children but now moving forward just wants to be happy. There's a definitely an emotional time. I think whoever this person is, they're dealing with another person that is very cold and unemotional. They could be dealing with two people. I mean, there, there could be two people here. Or it could be one. We have, we definitely have a few players here. And it's like, it's a definitely an emotional time. It's, there's an element of definite unhappiness and dissatisfaction. Okay, unhappiness and dissatisfaction. It's like somebody's wishes did not come true. Something, you know, somebody was trying to manifest something, but it looks as though uh, there's going to be some sort of conflict or something. This is a mild conflict or a message that you don't want to hear. I feel like there could be some sort of ruling. Um, somebody is, is, is speaking the truth. It's the cold, hard truth as well. And it has to do with a relationship. It has to do with the family. Um, you could be dealing with a child or children. We could be dealing with a Libra. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. There's a lot of memories on the table here. It's like a lot of reminiscing about the past relationship. And I think that there's a, there's, this is the end. This is the end of a relationship. Somebody's moving. Somebody is moving. Somebody is seizing an opportunity to move. Okay? Because this is moving, the Six of Swords, to move on. And this is taking the opportunity, taking it. It's like, i got to take this away. i got to take it away. So somebody is, like, going somewhere. So this Four of Cups reversed. This is, it's time to look forward now. Come out of this stagnation. Somebody has been in an unhappy relationship. This is an unhappy relationship where there's been a lot of discontent. But this Page of Swords, this is the truth coming out. Somebody speaking the truth. There's an end of a union here, okay? This is the end of a union. It's the end of a partnership. It's just not compatible. There's going to be a... Uh, it's like the end of communication. Um, there's a blockage. There's something coming to a complete halt. There is a relationship or a partnership that is coming to a complete halt. Now... Um, this doesn't. This could have to do with children. Could have to do with a family member. Some. It could be do with a sibling. It could do with a child. It could do with a husband or a wife. It could. Whatever it is, we have the end of a union here, and I can't make that up. I'd love to make that up for you, but I can't. This is coming to a complete stop. Something is going to be come to a complete halt, and it does have to do with a partnership that just. It just isn't compatible. There's, there could be an upcoming argument. There's a disconnection here. There's been a lack of communication. These two people don't communicate well anyway. Um, I feel as though there is somebody that is going to tell the truth. And it's just going to put stop everything right in its tracks. And it's going to cause somebody to move. Somebody's going to be moving. There's been a very painful separation here. Somebody has been betrayed, and now they're going to be free because this is breaking free. This is freedom. This is liberation. So you are, somebody is breaking free from an unhappy situation. Okay? 
Um, all is not what it seems. You may not even see this coming, like I said. There's something that has been hidden. You may not know all the facts, but there's somebody that does. Somebody is about some somebody hasn't been telling the truth. There's been a betrayal, there's been some sort of lie, and they may have been afraid to tell the truth, but it's like I feel like they get the courage to tell the truth. It's like they just they just decide to, you know, stop hiding the truth. Could it have something to do with a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? We definitely have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. This person it also has something to hold on to. She is solid. She is stable. She is devoted. Um, loyal. The dog symbols loyalty. She's just waiting. She's waiting for the truth to come out. And I think that she's waiting. She's, she's waiting for something. What is she waiting for? This Queen of Pentacles is sitting back and she's waiting. She's waiting for the truth to come out. She has a golden opportunity in her hand. She's very grounded. She's down to earth. She's motherly. She, the roses are the symbol of love. So she has a lot of love to offer. Something to do with a child, perhaps. There could be a loss of a child here. I'm just being honest with you. There's definitely a, definitely a loss of emotional fulfillment here. Somebody, there's going to be tears, okay? Somebody is going to feel um, very emotional, um, unable to master their emotions. There, somebody could even get angry and upset. There could be some nasty words that are said. I'm just being honest with you. We probably have a bunch of people that have been fighting. We do have a bunch of people here. It feels like there's been, um, it's almost like people fighting over, I don't know what, a family situation. This one has a solid opportunity. She has, she has the, she's capable. She's solid and she's secure. So I feel as though it's definitely going to be emotional. Somebody has their heart set on something that just isn't meant to be. And it feels like there is some sort of something that has been hidden that hasn't been revealed that is going to be revealed. Something is going to be revealed. Some sort of truth that is going to be revealed. It could have to do with a child, this child. But it doesn't have to be a child. It could be one of these women here. We have some women here that are definitely causing problems by the looks of things. Um, this one is very vindictive and childish. This one is bitter. This one is solid and stable. So, interesting. Um, if there has been some sort of secret, it's going to be revealed. Okay? It's going to be revealed. So, you may not be prepared for it. You may not be prepared for it. There could be, a, there could be some sort of split here. There is a loss. So cancer, you are going, there's some, there's a loss, a loss of abundance, a loss of something that you was holding on to is, is, is being taken away. And I can't make that up. It is definitely going to hurt. And I don't know what it is. And I'm sorry to deliver this message, but the cards speak for themselves. One card for cancer, please. You may have a new opportunity with this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This one right here, she's loyal, she's motherly, she's grounded. She will work with you. She's capable. But there is a loss. I mean, I can't make that up. Whatever this loss is, it's something that you were holding on to. And you didn't want to let it go. I saw that with the Queen, King of Pentacles down there. And you were holding on to it to the bitter end. But it's leaving. It's leaving. And it's going to hurt. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. This may, is probably happening for a reason. Whatever is happening, it is happening for a reason. Your soulmate, whoever your soulmate is, differs from who you think it is. That's what that card means. Something is about to be revealed that has been hidden. 
I think that um, you're probably definitely going to be tested this week. Um, you're going to probably feel defeated. Um, but this is go this is all happening because you have something. Uh, this is like another soulmate, right? Your soulmate differs from whatever it is that you're holding on to. That's why that. That's why this. That you have to let go of whatever it is that you're holding on to, and that's what it is. Definitely going to be emotional with all these cups reversed. The Page of Cups reversed. The Queen of Cups reversed. The Two of Cups reversed. There's probably going to be some tears and sadness. One card for Cancer. Goddess of the Moon. Like I said, all is not as it seems. It's like this moon is coming in to reveal something that is going, it's going to reveal something, okay? This moon, that's, we have a Taurus full moon, and this is Taurus. We have, a, we have a full moon, like I think it's on the 11th or the 12th, the 12th, I think. What is it? The 12th. So I feel as though this, but you can feel the energies before, okay? You can feel the full moon energies before the full moon and after the full moon. So right about now, when this is being recorded, there's stuff that you don't see. You don't see it coming. You don't, you don't know, okay? There's stuff below the surface that is about to come up. And it's probably going to make you feel very emotional because there's going to be a loss. And I can't, I can't pretend somebody is walking away. Somebody's leaving. I wish you the best of luck. It could be you could be you that's leaving. Somebody is walking away. Good luck. 